I wonder if, if the viewers today had their choice of the five that you just mentioned, I wonder which one they'd choose. Well, let's find out. All right. Those that are interested, please take your cube. Number one, London, England. Two, Freeport, Bahamas. Three, Honolulu, Hawaii. Four, Acapulco, Mexico. Five, Costa del Sol, Spain. As I say, they, they every one sound just absolutely great to me, but uh, I, I still think I'd like to take with London. And uh, I wonder, uh, yes, our computer is now ready. Let's check and see which our viewers chose. Wow, look at that. Uh-oh. 18% for London, England. 31% chose Freeport, Bahamas. 11% Honolulu, Hawaii. 28% for Acapulco, Mexico and 12% for Costa del Sol, Spain. There you are, our London came in third, that's not bad. Right. But Bahamas got it. So, in these suitcases, representing each of those five cities, we have Bahamas, that's it right here. Let's put Hawaii over here. Now in here, you have everything that, oh, looky there. Everything you want to go on a Bahaman vacation. Bahaman vacation? Right. Very good. What do you have, Bert? Well, the very first thing you need is proof of citizenship. And Bert, it can be in the form of a passport, a voting record, or a birth certificate. You don't have to have all three. Oh no, just, just one to, of the to three. To prove who you are. Right. right. And by the way, I'm going to give you those because those should be carried on your person and not packed in a suitcase. I'll put them safely inside the coat pocket. Look what I've got here. You don't think I haven't been looking? <laughs> <laughs> that tells us a little bit about Bahama. Yes, it does. There is all kinds of sun things to do. Swimming, snorkeling, sailing, fishing, everything to keep you busy in the sun. And if you're not interested in that that sort of activity. How about a little uh, of my game? Golf. This now you're talking my game. Beautiful. They have beautiful courses. There. Oh, three close Great. to the Greens hotel. Are plush, are they? Beautiful. Marvelous. Great for golfers. Uh, if you're not into golfing or swimming, how about a little shopping? Uh, the women will go for that, oh. I know. Poor men's pocketbooks, but go ahead. What, right. What's in store for the women? Well, you know, they're allowed to bring back $100 worth of duty-free goods. Right. And Freeport has quite a bit of shopping. The International Bazaar will find goods from all over the world. You can bring back more than 100 Oh, right? yes, of course, but you would have to pay duty on those right. articles. Right. How about a beautiful cashmere sweater? Nice, nice. Besides that, Bernie, the nights are cool there. Oh, yeah. So besides getting a nice gift for yourself, it's uh, useful also to wear it at night when right. the nights are cool. Talking about evening, yeah, there's nice. lots to do in glittery Freeport. Uh, there's an international gambling casino and excellent dining. The gentlemen are requested to wear coats, no ties, and the ladies, I'm sure, would love to dress up. So and it's a perfect opportunity. Although it's required as a chance to show off and have fun, too. Absolutely. Right. One thing we mustn't forget, the Bahamas are a great spot for a family vacation. Children are most certainly welcome. And there's lots to do for the children. And in the evening, when you want to slip off with your wife, there's babysitting available at the hotel. Great. So the, so the children are safe in your mind, and you can right. go out and have fun and not worry about them. Absolutely. Marvelous. Okay, it's all great, Bernie, except i got to ask you. What does it cost? Would you believe $199? $199 for, for all of this that you mentioned? Right. That includes the charter from Columbus, the round trip transfers to their hotel, which by the way is an oceanfront hotel, all tips and taxes. The only thing that they have in addition to that uh, is meals. All right, I got to know, when are the dates for this tour? Well, we have five departures for the Bahama Freeport holiday, January 20th to the 23rd, January 27th to the 30th, February 24th to the 27th, March 31 to April 3, April 14 to the 17th. Great. All right. Now, those viewers have made their choice on the Bahama vacation. They know what they have to have, what's in store for them. They know the dates. Now, one thing else, what do you have that will give them specific information on the Bahama trip? Well, we would love to send them a brochure. If they would take their cube and touch number one, we will receive their name and address and forward the brochure on the Freeport holiday. Touch now. All right, good. While they're touching, let's talk about something else. We had four other cities that we talked specifically right. about this morning. Those viewers that touched those cities, what does Bradford have for them? 
Well, we'd be glad to send them the brochure on those particular cities. If they will take their cube, number one is London, England, two, Honolulu, Hawaii, three, Acapulco, Mexico, and four, Costa del Sol, Spain. And we will send them the brochure. Good. Now, while everybody is making up their mind on which one of the five they want to punch to get their information, let's talk about one more element, and that is those viewers who have not decided yet where they want to go on a vacation. You know, we just finished right. a vacation. It's going to be next year or Christmas before. So what does Bradford have for those who are yet undecided on where to go on a vacation? Well, Bradford has something for everyone. I first. knew that. How about some information on packing? Everybody's interested. If they Marvelous. will touch their cube now, we'll be more than happy to send them the brochure on packing a suitcase. Bernie, that takes care of everything and everybody, and we certainly appreciate you coming by and telling us some things I know that I never knew about, and uh, showing us exactly where in the world Bradford has taken us today. <laughs>